yeah in the last week we discussed about this diagram so we get to know the programs are uh, installed into the hard disk that is something obvious that we know already right and these hard disks contains the program that we have installed into it and when we are executing that it creates the processors right so i told you a particular program may create one or more programs or one or more processors actually inside a particular computer ram or uh, on the computer ram and and we were discussing how the journey is going to happen from the creation of the processors until it is been reached to the ram right so in that context, we talk about there are two types of memories that we need to refer with. One is called the logical memory and the other one is called the physical memory. So physical memory, we call it the RAM, the, the one that we can see on our computers and logical memory. Now, this, this, is, this is sometimes this is called the virtual memory as well, right? Uh, so which is not existing physically, right? So we have uh, given a particular value to these processors. We took it as 16 bytes. And I told you these 16 bytes will be arranged inside the logical memory into the pages. The pages will contain fixed amount of bytes inside it. So each and every page has the identical size. So in the very same way, when the logical memory has a page, which is identical to the same page size, there is a component inside the physical memory, which we call frame, which are identical in size, right? So the frame size and the page size are equal to each other in a, any computer system, right? So we, we can determine the page sizes and the uh, frame sizes when we are doing the calculations. So for the moment, I'll just recap you what are the uh, what is the concept of what's actually going on when a certain process will be loaded into the RAM. So like I said, the process will be arranged inside the logical memory into the pages. So these 16 bytes are containing now inside this logical memory, which has 16 squares to indicate that. So page, it has four pages. So each and every page contains four bytes, right? four bytes in, in, inside it. So it indicates by four squares. And I told you each and every byte, each and every byte contains their own address, right? And I told you the width of this address, the size of this address, or in other words, the number of ones and zeros that we use to write this address will differ according to the size of the memory. So now we got 16 uh, bytes over here. To address 16 bytes, we can use four ones and zeros to give unique addresses into those separately, right? And in the very same way, I told you when the physical memory, when it comes to the physical memory, this physical memory contains 32 bytes, right? So to uh, address 32 bytes uniquely, I have chosen an address which can contain five different ones and zeros, right? So like you can see, when the uh, total memory capacity differs, the width of the address is going to differ, right? So now what actually happens over here is like each and every byte in our process, which is located inside the logical memory, will be placed into the physical memory. That is what is happening when we are executing a program. So how this is happening, operating system is helping to do this. That is how the operating system doing its memory management part. And not only the operating system, operating system take the help of the MMU, which we call memory management unit. <laughs> Hold on a second, people. Right, so memory management unit is a physical device. It's a hardware 
which contains a component called page table. Page table has many columns, but we concentrate on these three columns, which indicates the page number, the frame number, and the present absent status. Right, so this page number is referred to the page number of the logical address. Now, from where the page number story comes into the logical address, I told you a particular logical address can be divided into two parts, which we call the page number and the offset. So the left-hand side portion is called the page number. Sometimes it is called page address. And the right-hand side portion is called the offset, right? And sometimes it's called the dis displacement, right? We consider this page number indicates the page references. Offset indicates the data which is containing, right? Anyhow, when this particular byte, now this, this particular address, 0001 address, when it is being mapped into the uh, physical memory, the MMU has a page table indicating how the page number of a particular logical address should be replaced with the frame number, right? So it has page numbers, it has frame numbers. So how a particular page number is replaced by the frame number, it is determined by this present absence status, right? So zero indicates this particular frame is free inside the RAM. One indicates that particular frame is occupied already. So the present absence status will indicate what are the frames are eligible or are capable of taking a page insight into it, right? Page ka kata frame ka kato lata yam na frame ka his velati endo, right? So this present absent status will indicate whether that frame is an empty one or like uh, it is capable of taking a page inside or not. So zero indicates okay, I'm capable of taking a page inside. One indicates. I'm not capable of taking anyone inside because I have a one occupied inside my frame already, right? So generally, generally, we uh, map the page number with the corresponding frame number, generally. But it is not the true scenario. Wherever you can find a zero, you can match that page number with the frame number, which has the present absent bit as a zero, right? Now, according to this example, in my page table, the page number 00, zero or the uh, in, in decimal value page number 0 has the corresponding frame called page frame 7. And again, the present absent bit you can see is 0 on the first row of my page table. So that means any page 0, or 1, or 2, or 3, any of this page will be able to occupy inside this frame number. So for my example, I have take the page zero is going to occupy inside the frame number called frame seven or in binary it is indicated as one, 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 right? Uh, there is an additional uh, red arrow over here. Let me uh, erase it, otherwise you will uh, be fox with that. So let me erase that. Okay. So what actually happens here, you can understand by the uh, bottom part of the diagram. So here I'm going to map this particular address, which is called 011, right? Now this address is tagged with this green color square. So now I'm going to tell how that green color byte, it's a one byte, is going to put inside the frame or inside the RAM, how it is going to map, right? So this green color byte has the address 0011. So page number indicates 00, offset indicates 11 in that address. So since the page number is 00, it refers the page table 00. Then it sees, okay, there is a frame called
call seven, which is available since the, uh, I'm sorry. Since the present absent bit uh, is indicating a zero over there, then a zero piano nisa, may frame make a pavi chicker on the pull one kiela, may pay chicker a piano. Right? So, what it does with the help of the operating system, the page number 00, zero is going to replace with frame number 111. So, that is what we call logical to physical address mapping. And there, you have to be very concentrated on the offset, it's never going to change. Same amount of bits same kind of pattern right so what actually going to change is the page number it will be replaced by the frame number when you are replacing the page number from the frame number number of bits can be changed now you can see here in the page number it has zero zero only two bits when it is replaced with the frame number it contains one 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 so they have three bits so earlier, the logical address is a four-bit address. Now the physical address is a five-bit address. And we can think it very rationally because logical memory got four-bit addresses and the physical memory got five-bit addresses. So eventually, that, that is the thing that should happen, right? So once it is being mapped like this, using this physical address, it finds the way or like it finds the place of the physical memory, which means the RAM inside in your computer. So like it defines the slot where it needs to go. So the inside the RAM, it has a frame address like this, right? So it defines the place for this physical address. So Eventually, what will happen, this green color small byte, this green color small byte, this particular green color small byte is placed over here, right? So that is what you call address mapping, right? So this is the concept, people, right? This concept need to be understand very clearly when you need to answer the questions in the uh, 2018 past paper as well as, not, not 18 actually, in 2019 and 20 A-level past papers, right? As well as in 2020 as well, right? As I remember, it's 19 and 20, right? In 2019 and 2020, they were checking whether you know this concept clearly. They are not asking you to describe this, but they have given the calculation and the math regarding this concept. So you need to know this story to tackle that question. And the question before that, they really don't bother about this uh, concept or the uh, picture, what actually happens. They only uh, think about the equations and the calculations, which we are going to learn today. So today onwards, we are going to learn how the memory mapping can be done, right, using the, uh, uh, in, when, when it is given as a calculation, we can take certain uh, amount of, uh, or like the certain number of uh, calculations using these things, using these details. So we are going to look into those, how to do those uh, calculations, as well as we are going to learn how this particular diagram can be used, how this particular concept can be used to overcome our solutions in the 2019 and 2020 papers. So. Uh, in these days, the trend is calculation happens with the uh, with this diagram, right? Or like with this concept, right? Okay, so uh, any uh, unclear part or any uh, uh, questions regarding this diagram? So you can ask now. If you got anything, you can bring the question, right? And people, uh, there is a, a rumor going on that uh, we are given the chance to uh, start the physical classes, right? I think I have mentioned this last week as well. So please take the message to your parents 
and uh, yeah, I am considering uh, uh, what to be done as well in my place, right? So if the physical class permits to be uh, commenced, so the classes will be uh, placed on my location. So you can come and meet and we can discuss uh, as usually, right? So let's see uh, until it is no any confirmed uh, answer regarding that, right? So I let you know if the physical classes are to be commenced. And please take that message into your parents as well and let me have the feedback of them, right? Uh, because some parents may uh, uh, not be, in, uh, uh, they, they are not like to send the, the, their children, even, even myself, I'm not uh, very confident to send my little one to, to the Montessori, still the uh, messages that I am getting. So please take the message to your parents and have the confirmation, have their feedback, whether it is okay to have the, uh, the physical classes or uh, if it needs to stay a little more in online, then uh, try to do the physical classes, right? Okay, so uh, now today we are going to learn about the calculations which we have to do regarding this, right? I hope it is clear for you, the picture. So let's move to the calculations. So to do the calculations, uh, I think some of your tools may contain the questions uh, that I have prepared. Some of your tools may not. So anyhow, I'm going to send you the resources to the WhatsApp group now. So you can uh, refer those things when you are doing the calculations, not now. When I'm explaining, be with me. When you are doing the calculations, refer the resources that I'm sending to you, right? Okay, so... Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to send you this memory calculation PDF. Right. To the WhatsApp group. So this contains the questions. Right, as well as I'm sending you a diagram which illustrate the equations. Now, first we are going to talk about it then you can shift to the uh, calculations that you are going to do, right? Okay, you can download it later or refer it later. So for the moment, just stay with me until I'm explaining this thing. Okay, now here I have given you a particular logic, particular logical address and a physical address uh, and the structure of it. Let me explain this to you. Then, in this diagram, we had something called logical address. This is called the logical address. As you can remember, logical address is there on the logical memory. Uh, and people, I have a little thing for you to add to your uh, diagram. Uh, it's better you say here, as the logical memory as well as name it as virtual memory as well. Please do that uh, adjustment. Right? It was not there last week. And as well as uh, here at the physical memory, it's better you say RAM as well, right? So people who do not have the uh, diagram with you, if you miss it on last week, uh, please refer the previous day recording. So you can see, uh, I have given the time to uh, draw the diagram. So you can take a screenshot from there. And from this, in here, this MMU, it's better you say memory management unit. Right, please do those uh, amendments. MMU is said as memory management unit. Physical memory, please refer it as RAM as well. And logical memory, name it as virtual memory as well. All right, 
Now I'm going to move to the equations. Now we are going to talk about this logical memory and physical memory there. So using the details of the logical and physical memory, we have some equations to get to know about the capacities of these memories, pages and offset about those, right? Let's see what we can know when we know the details about the logical and the physical memory, right? Okay, here it goes. Now in the first uh, diagram, I have given you a logical address, right? So logical address, it is a one tag, which we uh, uh, fix into a one byte in the logical memory, right? So this logical address, I have extracted it. Now here in the logical address, it has what? The page number, as you can see. So there are two sections, which is page number and the offset. So page number has some particular bits, which is vacant to that. And for, uh, the offset has some particular bits, which is vacant to that. So according to this example, page number has three bits, offset has six, six bits. So altogether, this particular, the entire logical address is big as nine bits, right? Then up the example, we were talking about a logical address, which is four bit long, right? And now we are referring to something bigger, which is a nine bit big logical address. And I have shown you the very first address that logical address can take, which indicates all zeros and the very last address that it can take which indicates all ones, right? So the values in between these two, there can be many different combinations or many different bytes inside the logical memory, right? So all zeros is going to indicate the very first one. And uh, yes, hold on, I think this is a student. Give me a second, people. Right, sorry for that. So in the uh, diagram that we drew, uh, we drew a logical address which has four bits. Now in the diagram, we are talking about a physical a logical address which has nine bits inside it, right? So the least value or the least address or the very first address can be indicated as zero. So all zeros, once it is converted into a, a decimal value, this is the value, which is zero. And all ones indicates this particular value in decimal, right? The methanathiana relationship, two to the power three plus six, three plus six means nine. Two to the power nine, two to the power nine minus one. Now I'll explain you why such uh, calculation is resides there, right? Uh, I'll explain it like this. Now think about a very small address, like let's say it's a three bit address, right? So the very small value that it can take is zero. And the largest value that it can take is three ones. So all zeros will indicate zero in decimal. All ones, it will indicate what? Now this, Binary value we have the place values called one, two, and four. So all ones indicate seven, right? So we can write seven as two to the power three minus one, right? So this three indicate, this three indicate the number of bits in the address. So there are three places for the address. 
bits to not be under Pulwami address A K. So this indicates the number of bits in the address. Key up bits the and Pulwam the address A K. So that will be taken as 2 to the power minus 1 will give you the largest value that particular address can hold. Are you clear with that, people? Least address ekai, most address ekai, kohomutu hagati. Least address na api hitana de akna. It's going to be zero anyway in all the times. Most address, we are doing it. We take the number of bits. Number of bits, huh? A katulitina, ones and zeros. A katini, one ekak with the zero ekak with the kill api hitana. We just count how many bits. That means how many different ones and zeros are there. So number of those will be taken into a two to the power. From that answer, we reduce one. Then we are going to gain the largest value which can be indicated by that particular uh, address. People, is that clear? Right, how about others? Okay, all right. All right, so whenever you are getting a problem, just ask me out, people. So I'm going to clear this. Right, so that is the way we are going to deal with the logical address. So the least value and the most value can be determined like that. Now, when it comes to the physical address, it goes the same way, people. It goes the same way. Right, the only difference is in the physical address, we have a frame number as the very first part, then the offset, right? And I need you to take your concentration to the offset size of these both addresses, right? So see, it's not being changed, right? So if, if this is a physical address mapped into this logical address, this applies when the logical address being mapped into the physical address, the number of bits inside the offset is never going to change. It stays as it is. So in logical address, it is six. In physical address, it is six again, right? So in your calculation, if you find offset has three bits in the logical memory, it has three bits as well as in the physical memory, it's going to have only three bits, right? And the frame number, it can change, right? It can be similar to the number of bits in the page. It can be greater, it can be lesser, right? It doesn't matter. Okay, and again, I have shown you what are the uh, first address and the last address of the uh, memories. So the first address is going to be all zeros. Now this physical address all together, it has 10 bits. So 10 zeros will indicate the least address or the first address. And the last address is going to indicate by 10 ones. So the value of that can be find, found by two to the power 10 minus one. So always remember you are going to reduce one from the number which indicates the two to the power, right? Okay. Now look at the equations over here, right? I'll, I'll come to these two uh, points later, right? I look at the equations. Now here I am talking about the logical memory in the first square. Now, how was the logical memory? Logical memory has something called page number, something called offset, right? So page number may have some amount of bits. I'll take it as X bits. Offset may have another amount of bits. I take it as Y bits, right? So X number of bits and Y number of bits are there. Let's assume like that, right? So the total size of the uh, address can be indicated by x plus y bits. Right? Now, when you know, when, when we know about the address in this manner, 
we can find these details. Look at this. Number of pages. How many pages are there in my logical memory? Now, can you remember uh, the diagram that we did? So in the diagram that we did, we had four pages. Page 0, 1, 2, 3. Four pages were there. So when you know about the details of the logical address, that means when you know how many bits are there in the page number, how many bits are there in the offset, using the number of pages in the page, uh, using the number of bits in the page number, we can determine number of pages. So that is what is illustrated by the first particular equation. So number of pages is equal to two to the power number of page number bits, right? And if you want to figure out the page size, the size of the page, right? Now in our example, the diagram we draw, our page size was four bit. There were four bit in a one single page. Page zero, page one, so the page size is identical. So one page has had four bits. So likewise, if you want to calculate what is the size of this page, we can calculate by considering the offset bits taken into a two to the power, right? Once you take offset bits, that means these Y bits, Y number of bits are taken into as two to the power. So you can take the size of the bits. Now, people, when it comes to the size in the computing world, size indicates as bits and bytes, right? So this value, the page size is going to give you either from bits or from bytes to you. Now, how you are going to determine what is your unit in this calculation? If bits were in there, bytes were in there, you can figure out for that, you need this section, the one that I was highlighting to you, right? Ogalangi question, it will describe what kind of a memory that you are going to have. The return of the terms, sometimes they call it as bit addressable. Sometimes it, they call it as byte addressable. If your memory, is considered to be a bit addressable memory, your units are going to come in bits, right? Can capacities when a tangle up the bits willing, where the memory a bit addressable killer key work, where the memory a byte addressable killer describe corot the units of your capacities or sizes will become as bytes. Right? Later, we can convert those things into the kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and all these things. Right? So be careful when you are doing the calculation, you have to concentrate whether this is a bit addressable memory or a byte addressable memory. Now, it doesn't matter whether the question is referring to a logical memory or a physical memory. If it is a logical memory, still it can be a bit addressable one or a byte addressable one. If it is a physical memory, still it can be a bit addressable one or a byte addressable one. Anyhow, your question should illustrate that. In case if your question is not illustrating what kind of a memory that you have, that means whether it is a bit or byte addressable, by default, by default, it is a byte addressable memory. That is why when I was drawing the diagram, <coughs> I took these memories as byte addressable memory. Byte taken byte taken among address color in a kind make it a byte addressable memory. Bit taken bit taken make a address karana himana happy make it a kino bit addressable memory. Right? Okay, so. You have to concentrate what kind of addressing mod is there with the uh, with this particular memory. So if it is bit addressable, the units will be on bits. If it is byte addressable, then the units will be on its bytes, right? And the very 
Finally, the third equation is there something called logical address space. Now this logical address space has other names as well. Maximum memory capacity is also referred to the logical address space, right? Can logical address space ka kela ki ane addresses ya ganne puluang upari na pramane, right? Aking indicate pe nawa total memory size, <coughs> right? So in case if they ask you to calculate the total memory size, still you are going to refer to the third equation, this equation, right? So total memory size. Uh, total capacity of the memory, logical address space, maximum address space, those kind of terms will be there. Everything describes this logical address space. So now how we are going to determine that, we can determine it by, there are, there are two equations. If we know the total number of bits in the address, so we can easily take it, by taking total number of bits as a two to the power, then it will give us the capacity in bits and bytes, bits or bytes, right? So simply what we have to do is, we take the total capacity or the total number of bits in the logical address and we take it as two to the power. So it will illustrate to you how big your memory is going to be. Or else, in case if you are provided with number of pages and the page size, from those two, still you can determine what is the logical address space by multiplying those two values together, right? So number of, if you know what number of pages, if you know the page size, <clears throat> by multiplying those two together, it gives you what is the total capacity. So this is a very uh, logical thing, right? Then over the diagram make a gut thought. Let me clear these things. Look at the diagram. In the diagram, you can see there are four bytes in a one particular page, and it has four pages. So a page ka four byte lo pages So the page size is four byte. Number of pages are four pages. So four into four will create 16 byte logical memory. So it is a 16 byte logical memory that we were creating. Right, simple as that. Right, so that is the equations given in the logical memory. Right, okay. Let us do a simple example here. Now you can see the equations here. I'm going to draw you a small diagram right on the screen and you tell me the answers, right? Okay, so here I'm drawing you a small logical address. Where the page number contains three bits and the offset contains four bits. And this is, I'm saying byte addressable. Right? Now, if I ask how many pages are there in this logical memory? So this is the logical address. So I, I want to know how many pages are there in the logical memory that they use this particular memory address, logical memory address. So you can use the first equation to find that. Okay, tell me the answer. How many pages are there in the logical memory? Very good, Lalindi, that is the answer. Yes, others? How many pages are there in the logical memory? Yes, Divyangana, that's correct. Osanda, that is correct. Right. 
right very good so how we are going to determine that we take the number of bits in the page number which is three and we find what is the value of two to the power three right because why we are finding two to the power three number of pages can be determined taking number of bits in the page number as a two to the power neither so we can take it is eight two to the power three it is eight Okay, what's the size of the page? I need it with the unit. What's the size of the page? I need it whether it is bits or bytes. And this is called a byte addressable memory, right? What is the size of a page? Yes, very good, Lalindi. That is the answer. Yes, Lakshani, yes, that is the answer. Very good. Yes, Osanda, very good, very good. Lakshani, it's better you uh, have the answer with the unit doer. Right. Yes, how about others? I've got six in the room. Yes, others. Yes, Nikini. How was it? Sachin Tani? Uh, try to find a one uh, Dora so then I can figure out whether uh, it gets to you or not. If you are not getting it, you can always tell, tell it to me. Don't worry about it. Then I will explain it again to you. Okay, Nikini, Nikini, do it's like this. Uh, Nikini, can you understand the diagram that I that I'm drawing here? Logical address is having two parts, which is called the page number and the offset, right? Okay, that's great. Then uh, when, you are, when you are taking the first answer, do I was asking how many number of pages are there? So to find the pages, you have to consider the number of bits inside this page number. So I have given it as three bits, right? So how to find the number of pages? It says by using this equation, two to the power number of page number bits. Now page number bits means what? This three, number of page number bits. So you simply find it two to the power three, which equals to eight. Is that clear, Nikini? Great. Sachin Tani, how's the situation? Yes, Sachin Tani Dua, can you hear me? Okay, I think some connectivity issues are there, right? Okay. Uh, Nikini, now do a, when it comes to the page size, uh, no problem. Sachin Tani, was it clear? Is, is that clear, Dua? Like uh, the calculation? Is it clear, Dua? Uh, okay, okay. You have to send me an answer, Dua. So, Nikini, can you calculate the page size now? 
page size can be calculated by using two to the power number of bits, number of offset bits. So offset bits, here I have given you the offset bits. So what should be the answer, Nikini? Correct. And Nikini, it should, it should have a unit doer. So we are defining whether it is bits or it is bytes with the help of this addressing mod. So in here I have said it is byte addressable one. Right? So it should be, if it, if it, if it said byte addressable, your answer is going to be 16 bytes. Very good. Yeah, that is how you are going to do that. Okay, now everyone send me the logical address space or the total memory capacity. You can do it using the third one. So you need total number of bits in the address to find this. Give me the answer. And again, remember when it comes to the total memory capacity, it has a unit, right? Particular unit should be there in your answer, right? And again, it defines by the address in mod. So what should be the answer? Logical address space. Very good, Nikini. Very good. Yes, Lakshani. Very good. Lalindi. Yes, very good. How about others? Yes, Sachintani. Yes, Dua, uh, you should uh, say it with the bytes word Dua. Okay, the, uh, may here in the equation I have shown you, it should be either in bits or bytes. Right? Eka figure out karagani Dua may address him mod again. Question neke kelati and none, or age address eka bit addressable, the byte addressable the game. Right? Okay, tell me the the first address, tell me the first address. Yes, that is correct, Sachin. Tell me the first address of this uh, logical address space. What is the first address? How did we uh, figure out the first and the last addresses? So you, you put all zeros to find the first address. You put all ones to the uh, address to find the last address. So what is the first address? Yes, people? Yeah. Yes, Lalindi. The first address will indicate, now it says logical address has seven bits, three bits, three bits in page number, four bits in offset. So the first address is going to be what? When this is having three zeros over here, and four zeros over here. So that means zero, right? Yes, when you are, when you are giving, very good Rosanda, when you are giving the answer, you can give it using the decimal value, like a single zero, or using this scheme, right? Then, Ubalanta, exam questions for Tere, those addresses are big in size. So it's better uh, you stick into the decimal values, right? What is the last address, people? What is the last address? Yes, what should be the last address? Uh, Sachintari, it's not one doer. Lalindi, seven ones are, yes, correct. Seven ones are correct. Nikini, and it is not the seven. Now look how we uh, determine the last address. So when, when we need to find the last address, what are we going to do? We are going to put ones in all the places, right? So, so one will be each and every bit. So you have to find what is represented by this particular scheme. So I earlier told you a trick, neither, how you can find this. Two to the power, total number of bits, minus one. That is the trick. 
So this logical address has seven bits all together. So the value of this scheme, where, when, when it is having all ones in the address, the value of it is like two to the power seven. Seven means total number of bits in the address minus one. So this means what? 127. Right? Yes, Osander. Uh, Osander, it is not uh, uh, two to the power seven minus four. Okay, it's it's two to the power seven minus one, Kuta. Right? Not four. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Is that clear, everyone? How the calculation is? Right. Okay. Great. Okay, let's do another one, right? I'm going to uh, clean this. Right, now here I'm going to give you a one. Uh, this is a logical address again. And this logical address has six bits in the page number and eight bits in the offset. And this is a bit addressable one, right? It is a bit addressable memory, logical memory, right? Okay, how many pages are there? Number of pages, what's the answer? Very good, Lalindi. Yes, that is the answer. Yeah, Nikini, number of pages will not contain any unit doer. It's just a number. It's like number of ice creams, right? We are not going to put Sachin Tani the same mistake doer. Number of pages, whether we are not going to take any unit. It's just a number. Page size and the uh, maximum memory size, yeah. They will uh, have the capacities. Right, but the answer is correct. Yeah, others, how's the answer? Yes, number of pages. How many number of pages? Yes, Osanda, that is correct. Right, so the number of pages will be what? Two to the power six, that means 64. Okay, page size, how it's going to be page size? Very good, Lalindi, very good, Sachintani. Nikini, very good. Right, yes, others, how's that? Yes, Lakshani, that is correct, that is correct. Osana, that is correct, very good, very good. So see, you have picked it easily, two to the power six bits, and it's better you uh, keep it as a number, people, 256 bits. Maximum memory capacity, that, that means uh, logical address space. What is the maximum memory capacity? Uh, you, you can uh, uh, say say to me as a two to the power because it's going to uh, get a big bigger number, right? Just uh, put it as a two to the power. Doesn't matter. Yes, Lalindi. Oh, hold on, hold on. You are not going to mind reduce one. That is how you are going to say the maximum, uh, uh, the, the very last address, Lalindi. I'm asking the capacity. Osanda, that is correct. And that it should have a, a unit, Lalindi. It should have a unit. Right. And uh, yeah, how about others? 
Yes, what it should be? The maximum memory size. You take the total number of bits. Nikini, what is the uh, total of six plus eight? Yes, yes. So it's going to be two to the power that number, right? Yes, Sachin Tani, that is correct. I hope that you are indicating two to the power 14. So it's two to the power 14 because six plus eight, you got 14. So it's two to the power 14. The unit is bits, right? Okay. Uh, so the least address or like the very first address, what's the very first address? Zero. Without a doubt, you can say very first address I have to go langing. It's zero because all the bits are going to be indicated by a zero. So it's going to have 14 zeros, which indicates decimal zero. What's going to be the uh, highest value or like the highest address, the value of the highest address, the last address? Very good, Sachin Tani. It's two to the power of 14. It's better you put the uh, uh, brackets uh, by limiting to the two to the power of Sachin Tani. Otherwise, uh, it will get a different idea, right? Two to the power of 14 minus one, right? So it's better we say two to the power of 14. and brackets minus one. Yes, Osanda, that is very clear and very correct. Right? Okay. Right, give me a second people.
right sorry for that people okay so uh, yeah now now i'm going to give you uh, the things which are going other way around other way around kila kiyanne den api mechchara vela we talk about uh, about the uh, logical address and we uh, uh, we have the details very directly so we can find out what is the uh, the the details that we want like number of pages page size we can find it directly now what happens if the things goes like this people right let me uh, clear the drawings now what happens if if it if it goes like this now i am saying you here a logical address is there right and the page number and the offset is there now the details are going to be like this number of pages equals to 512 and this is a byte addressable memory right if these details are given to you number of pages are 512 and size of a page equals to 1024 bytes now tell me how many bits are there in the page number that means i am i'm asking you what are the number of bits over here in this address earlier we had that detail then tiyenne anith pat ekan den ogalanta me kotasa deela tiyenne meka deela then ahanawa menna meya kawuda kiyala give it a try okay someone has sent me right very good lakshani very good right lalindi very good lalindi uh, yeah yeah lalindi uttare liyana kota duwa 9 bits kiyala liyanne anne pa i just said it's only 9 right nikini very good very good right here what you are going to do now your equation is something like this ne the number of pages 512 means 512 sachintani very good 512 equals 2 to the power x x means what the page number bits so 512 means 2 to the power 9 is equals to 2 to the power x so when the base is equal we can say the powers are going to be equal so x equals to 9 very good everyone try tell me the number of bits in the offset yes how many number of bits in the offset nikini it's not the byte right then api hoyanne nikini uh number of bits in the offset ne duwa so it's it's just a number lakshani that is correct nikini so it's just 10 right lalindi that is correct very good right so to find that we have to use 1024 right so how we are going to take 1024 so size of a page is given so that means 1024 Equals two to the power y. Y means what? That's correct, Rosanda. Sachintani, it's not the nine thousand twenty-four means it's two to the power ten. Do right? Two to the power ten equals two to the power y. So ten y is equals to ten. right got that oy vidihara tahanna puluwa okay 
right so these are the calculations right then ogalanta tiyenne onno e knowledge ekak paavichchi karala i have given a different number of equations over here questions over here right before i go to the questions people is this clear everyone right great well done now look at the physical memory etana tiyene togolo dakala tiyena wageme equations tika earlier it was number of pages now it is number of frames so nothing is going to change right instead of pages in the physical memory we find frames so we have frame number in the physical memory and the offset so when the frame number is taken as 2 to the power we can find number of frames like we find number of pages right and look at this when offset bits are being taken as 2 to the power we find the frame size earlier offset bits are taken as 2 to the power we found the page size that is regarding the logical memory in the physical memory offset bits are taken as 2 to the power it gives you the frame size the reason is logical memory has pages physical memory has frames got it and the physical address space that means earlier we found logical address space here we are going to found physical address space so still the same equation total number of bits in the address right so if this has x bits if this has y bits so the total is x plus y so 2 to the power x plus y will give you a total memory capacity or the maximum memory capacity or the physical address space there will be names like this you will get to know about those right so even though i am giving you six different uh, equations there is actually no six different equations ne i carry it only three different equations physical address ekey the frame number and offset ek api weda karanawa logical address ekey the frame number and offset ek api weda karanawa right is that clear everyone right great okay and metanadit be careful about the units that in the question you have to tell you should you should be given what kind of address in mind that this physical memory is using if it is bit addressable your capacities are coming in bits if it is byte addressable your capacities are coming in bytes right okay now before i move into the uh, questions i have some other thing for you to say then questions karan aavama ogalanta penevi i'll show you the questions as well hold on right so these are the questions and डीटेल उटर 
you need to know how this type conversion is going to be done, right? So first I'm going to tell you how the type conversion happens. There's a very simple trick for that. Then you can try these questions, right? So it's better the part that I'm going to tell you, write it on a piece of paper and paste it to your naming uh, questions. That is the best way of keeping this, right? Or if you have a spare, uh, sheet. So everything will be there with the chit. People give me a second. Right. So let's see how this uh, unit conversion can be recognized, right? Okay. Now this is what are we going to talk? Right. So here, there are two types of conversion that you need to do, right? What are the conversion types? So I'll take the heading unit conversions. So this unit conversions will happen on these two ways. Right. There can be a unit conversion from smaller unit to a bigger unit. Right. As an example, like from the bytes, you are going to convert into the kilobytes. It is a smaller unit to a bigger unit. And again, the other way around. A bigger unit, I'm sorry. Right? Will be asked to convert into a smaller unit. Right, like gigabytes to kilobytes. Right. Right. So these type of conversions are there. Right. Now for any of these conversions, I'm going to give you a small diagram. So using that, you will be able to do any kind of, any kinds of conversion, right? So first, we are going to write the relationship in between these bits and bytes. So the smaller one is going to be the bit. Then, at the line, it finds byte, then kilobyte comes, then megabyte comes, then gigabyte comes, then terabyte comes, then petabyte comes, right? That is enough. Now, <clears throat> when you are converting from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, you have to come step by step. If you are asked to come from petabyte to kilobyte, you cannot come straight away. You have to come petabyte to terabyte, terabyte to gigabyte, gigabyte to megabyte, and megabyte to kilobyte, right? <clears throat> so when you are flowing step by step onto this side, that means bigger one is going to become a smaller one. You are going to have 2 to the power 10s, 
multiplication for each step down, right? Eka king eka kata pahala tenna, two to the power tenne ka pavichi karna. Right, when I'm doing the example, you will realize it, how these things are going to use. So this is two to the power 10. From kilobytes to byte, it is also two to the power 10 multiplication. From byte to bit, it's going to be two to the power three kind of multiplication. Right? It's got a pity pass at a quarter. It's a step back up for half an hour and two to the power 10. Right? And when you are going the other way around, smaller unit is going to become a bigger unit. You take the other way. That means when bit are going to be converted into byte, this multiplied by 2 to the power minus 3. When byte becomes kilobyte, 2 to the power minus 10. When kilobyte becomes megabyte, this is 2 to the power minus 10. From megabyte to gigabyte, it is 2 to the power minus 10. From gigabyte to terabyte, it is 2 to the power minus 10. From terabyte to petabyte, it is 2 to the power minus 10. Right? Now remember this. You can do any type of conversion. Right? So as an example, if I ask, convert 16 GB Oh no, 130, 130, right? 16 GB into kilobytes. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you write 16 GB. Then your conversion happens to the kilobytes. Then we write the journey. What is the journey? Gigabyte will become megabytes, megabyte will become kilobyte, right? Then right? So what I'm going to do is I'm taking this 16 as a two to the power. So it's two to the power four. And for this each and every conversion, I take two to the power 10. Gigabytes to megabyte, two to the power 10. Megabytes to kilobyte, again, 2 to the power 10. So now I'm going to have my answer in kilobytes. Right? So this is equals to what? 2 to the power 24 kilobytes. Is that clear, people? Right, what about others? Right. match So like, uh, api match karagatte thana tamai, api gye, mena metta ne indala, metta antra ne Gigabytes willing start kara, kilobytes ka order nagan gya. So we consider about these two to the power 10. Right, okay. So as the next example, I'm going to give the other way around, right? This is example one. Here was the example two. Convert two to the power 36 bits into gigabytes, right? Two to the power 36 bits, huge number, 
right? So it doesn't matter. 2 to the power 36 bits converted into gigabytes. So what's the journey? Bits become bytes. Bytes become kilobytes. Kilobytes become megabytes. Megabytes will become bigger, gigabytes. So how it's going to be? 2 to the power 36 will come over here. And for this conversion, we need 2 to the power minus 3. For this conversion, we need 2 to the power minus 10. For this conversion, we need another 2 to the power minus 10. For this conversion, we need another 2 to the power minus 10. So what's going to be the answer? 2 to the power 36 minus 33 GB. That means 2 to the power 3 GB. That means 8 GB. Is that clear? Right. Very well done. Okay. Can we copy this paper? I'll keep it over here. Later, I'll show you uh, what are the examples, right? So please copy it. Sachin Penny, uh, it's better you uh, copy it to the tube doer. Tube take a piti pass semi to a liaga non and bada honda in a tank colleague a liara. Tube take a pace cargana do a pote the end of the palm of the appear then not take a refer kernel cotter, book a cataballa refer kernel is up. Right? Sabada honda, tube take a coca cotta sack the anaka. Coma then Ganantika Hadagan and Cotoval and Toba Coma to one of them. Right?
people just let me know if it is too fast that I'm scrolling up. Okay, right, so. Let me know when you're done, people. Right, one is done. How about others? All right, anyone who is still writing? Okay, is there anyone who is still writing this? All right, okay, so it's time for the calculations. So people, I have sent you the, uh, this particular document to the WhatsApp group. Please refer that and you can start do the calculation. So send me the answers. So you can just send me the first one, simple lay and send me the answer. It's a simple answers are there, right? So read it carefully, don't panic. <clears throat> Draw a particular diagram, right? You can send me a WhatsApp message as well. I'll tell you whether the calculations are correct or not, right? <clears throat> so do it slowly, right? Right now, uh, in the examination, you will you won't see this descriptive questions, this much of descriptive questions. I have asked here every possible thing that you can see uh, regarding a particular uh, memory calculation thing, right? But you will experience when you are doing the exam paper, they may go for only one or two particular kind of uh, sub questions regarding this, right? But it's better we practice like this. So. No question will beat us, right? Okay, so start doing it and send me the answers, people.
Yes, Lamai, how about the situation? If it is facing hard, you can tell me. Right, Lalindi, I receive yours. Let me see. Okay, yes, first answer is correct. Second answer is correct. Uh, okay, uh, you don't need to calculate what is the value of these big two to the power things. Keep it as it is, right? When it comes to the two to the powers, uh, at most, just remember up to two to the power 13, right? So, 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 3 is 8, 4 is 16, 5 is 32, 6 is 64, 7 is 128, 8 is 256, 9 is 512, 10 is 1024, 11 is 2048, 12 is 4096, and 2 to the power 13 is 8196. Right? 14 when I come 14,000. How it's going to be? 392. That is that is more than enough, right? All other cases, put it as a 2 to the power, right? Keep it as a 2 to the power. So, Larry, the first one is correct. Second one is correct. Third one, the page size. Yes, that is correct. Fourth one. Okay. Hold on a minute. This is a bit addressable. So, yes. Yes, that is correct. And the range is correct. Too. Very good. Very good. Go for the second one. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Suzu. Yeah, just one. Don't do anything from that. It's dangerous, huh? How bad is it? Sachintani, yes, first one is okay, second one is okay, third one, it is okay, 
fourth one uh, do, uh, for the part D. Ah, uh, yeah. It's maximum logical memory capacity means the, the total memory capacity. I will stay with you. Okay, you stay with me, Susu. It's a third third equation, do you need to take two to the power total number of bits and then convert. Right? And uh, no problem. Sachintani, the last one, the E, the address range, it is from zero. To what? There are 40 bits in the uh, address. Take a chip tuck, Maranda. Others? You have to send me the uh, answers. So Chintani, is that clear how to do the things for the part D? Right, okay. Osanda, yes. Osanda, you don't need to uh, calculate the uh, a big two to the uh, powers, Puta. Anyway, A is correct, B is correct, C is correct, D is correct, and yeah, E is correct. Puta, it's better you uh, show it like two to the power 40 minus one, and Puta, two to the power 40 should be within brackets as well. Right? Right? So it should be 2 to the power 40 minus 1. Right? Right. Okay. Yes, Sachintani for the, uh, that is for E doer. That is for the E, not for the D. D is asking maximum logical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. For E, it is correct. Check with the D. And how about others? Lakshani? Nikini? Lalindi, you have sent the second one. Let me see. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Yeah, that is correct, Dua. First one is correct. A part is correct, B part is correct. Uh, and yes, yes, part C is correct, part D is correct, and part E is correct. Very good, Dua. Keep it up.
Right. So people, uh, I need to finish the class on this point since I need to uh, run out for a work which is starting sharp at 1.30. So I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll end the session like three minutes before. Right. So I need all of you to try the things. I'm going to discuss all the questions by next week. Right. So if you've got the time, do it at home. Otherwise, we can try it in the class. Right. Doesn't matter. Right. So uh, more importantly, just go through the uh, equations and get, uh, get to know about it, right? Try to uh, make a little short note or have, uh, have things into a uh, piece of paper and get used to it, right? Then we can try these things out, right? Okay, so within the week, you can send me the things that you have done to me, then I can correct it and send it to you as well right so and uh, you can try the questions uh, when we meet next week as well right and there are uh, people who haven't sent me the answers so i hope uh, the answer for the first question uh, everyone needs to send that answer for the very first question so please uh, send the people who haven't uh, sent the answer yet right so i'll end the session from here just for today and we are going to meet on next week for the very same time Right. Okay. So thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you on next week for the very same time. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right, people. Right. Okay, everyone.